We are so excited to show you the progress in the big garden. Let's go. Hi everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. Uh, this is Sarah and Kevin. And uh, just a few weeks ago, we gave you a garden tour of everything as we were putting things in. All the plants were still really small. Well, there have been some amazing changes in the big garden back here. Uh, we're so excited to show you how big things have grown and how much progress all the plants have made. And we're excited to show you how well uh, the ground cover fabric uh, is doing. I know a lot of you have been watching, wanting to see how it works out for us, and maybe next year you can try it, and I think you'll be really surprised. So let's go take a look. All right, so in our first row here, uh, I'm super excited about because uh, first of all, the ground cover fabric is working great. It allows me to mow uh, around the garden easily, uh, but gosh, the plants are just doing so well without weeds coming up around them, and we're just really, really excited about how it's working. So in this first row, we have 20 okra plants planted. Uh, the uh, first few here are a variety from Baker Creek called Clemson Spineless. Uh, they seem to be doing really, really well. And then uh, we have these kind of burgundy colored ones that are called Orange Jing that we actually got from a friend at the farmer's market. Uh, she gave us the seeds and uh, last year, they did really well for her. She was actually bringing us bags of them last year. Uh, we didn't have a really good year with okra last year. We planted it in the middle of the garden, and then by the, by, by the time the okra were ready to start picking, our cucumbers and everything were so grown up we could barely get to the okra. So uh, this year we planted it toward the front, plus with the uh, weed paper down, uh, it should really uh, you know help us be able to harvest these better because with 20 plants, I hope people at the farmer's market want to buy okra because that's going to be more than we can eat as our family. Um, and then in the middle of this row, uh, we have our uh, zucchini squash. And they're doing really well, although we have found a couple squash bugs on. Um, so we're going to have to do something about that. We'll be doing a video soon about some of the pest control things that we do in our garden. Look at these tomato plants. If I wasn't excited for tomato season before this, before I even planted them, I am so excited right now. Uh, we ended up planting 60 tomato plants. Uh, one row is mostly hybrid slicing tomatoes. The other row is mostly heirloom uh, Roma type tomatoes that will be used for sauces and those types of things. And then on each end, we have various types of cherry tomatoes. We are so excited. Uh, both of the hybrid varieties that we are growing, one is Jetstar and the other is Celebrity, they have giant green tomatoes on the vines already. We can barely even like stand it and, and we can't even believe it. And uh, these Roma tomato types, both the Opolka and the San Marzano, they're doing Fabulous. The Opalka is winning the race right now. They have these giant uh, Roma tomatoes on them, um, although the San, Mar the San Marzanos are doing well too. I think the Opalka have bigger tomatoes and the San Marzano have more tomatoes, but they're all doing super well. I can't wait for them to ripen. This morning we did find our very first tomato hornworm. Uh, and then we also found another kind of tomato worm that is going to start burrowing inside the tomatoes. Uh, so we're going to be doing a couple videos coming up very soon about pest control on the tomatoes. Another thing I'm totally excited about are all the peppers we're growing. I have one row of them here and these are the spicy uh, peppers. And on the other side of the squash and stuff, I have more peppers like the bell peppers and things. But I cannot believe, number one, how big the plants are already and how many peppers are on there already. I actually have um, an Anaheim pepper already on uh, that is like four inches long. Uh, they're all doing really well. I'm super excited. Um, next up right here is um, one of the rows that we have of you know climbing things. So uh, first up right here, uh, we've got spoon gourds, then small pie pumpkins, and then some cucumbers. And we're going to be training all of these to grow up this trellis and up the fencing. 
uh, so that we can get at them better and so that the ground doesn't get just so covered uh, with all of the plants and foliage. Um, on the other side of the trellis and the fencing, we've got uh, loofa gourds, which uh, we just had so much fun growing last year. We started them earlier this year, so I'm hoping to get even more and more mature. Um, then we have more cucumbers at the end. Oh, and butternut squash. Uh, so those are all doing really well. We have started seeing some cucumber beetles and uh, some squash bugs over here. So we're going to be doing work in that department. Um, and like I said before, next up is another row of uh, beautiful uh, pepper plants. Most of these are, um, well, bell, sweet peppers, I would say. We've got a big bell. We have Alma paprika, which I will dry and use for paprika and other seasoning mixes. And then at the end are jalapeno. They don't really fit in with that group, but I needed to have them at the end. All of them are doing so well. Can't believe it. And while I'm over here, take a look at how fabulous this uh, weed fabric is doing. Can you even believe it? Uh, you know, we've had very minimal weeds to pick. Um, I mean, it really, every, you know, where there's a plant, you, you pick a couple um, weeds, but inside the rows and everything, we've had virtually no weeds. A lot of people have been asking us, well, doesn't the black plastic make it so hot in here? And honestly, it really doesn't. When the sun is beating, you can put your hand on there and it's really uh, not that hot at all. And underneath, if you put your hand through one of the holes and feel the temperature of the, um, the soil, it's actually nice and cool and it is uh, retaining some of the moisture. So overall, this is like a total win. All right, so next up is our uh, winter squash. Uh, we actually have four different varieties of winter squash uh, planted this year. Um, now you'll see uh, these are nice and big, uh, but down here, this little guy right here, um, well, we had a couple of them that for whatever reason just died um, and we had to replant. So these are a couple weeks behind, uh, but that's okay. That'll just extend our harvest over the summer. Now the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is that technically right now in the Ozarks we're in a drought. Uh, our garden is doing well. It's doing really well uh, mostly because of the drip tape irrigation that we put in. Uh, if you haven't seen the video where we're installing that I'll leave a link up here. Uh, but this drip tape system is working out so well. We got it from GrowerSolution.com. Uh, which is where we recommend you guys go to buy uh, you know, anything that you need for your garden or greenhouse, anything like that. And don't forget, if you use coupon code TRADITIONALIST10, you'll get 10% off your entire order. So um, next up after this, one of my favorite things, because really I just like to sit out here and eat all day, is our green beans. Um, we did twice as many as we did last year. Last year we only did 25 foot row of them. Uh, this year we did a full 50 foot row and they are looking so so good um, i'm really excited because to me that's like one of those things you have to have in your garden it's just a garden isn't a garden without tomatoes and green beans so um, and then the row after this is our lima beans and our white beans that will uh, pick and dry look at this corn we have never done this amount of corn before we're so excited. It's actually a variety that we will use uh, to dry and grind up for corn flour and corn meal. And it's blue. The kernels are blue. It's called Papa's Blue. Uh, we have six rows here. Uh, each row is 50 feet long. Uh, so we are expecting a really good harvest. Now I do want to call your attention to where the rows of plastic meet. Uh, there is some soil exposed. And so this is where in the garden we have to do most of our weeding. But I'll tell you that the girls and I came out one day, we each took two rows and we were done weeding in less than 30 minutes. So it really hasn't been a big deal. In fact, it's actually been wonderful. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the garden. I hope it shows on video just how well everything's doing. We are so happy. Uh, with the way everything is working out. All the systems that we put in place this year, we think are just just working tremendously. So we're really, really excited. We'll be doing another video soon, showing you our nine raised bed gardens as well. Uh, they're also doing great. 
Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. Hey, if you're not a subscriber yet, this is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who's been following along uh, since we started everything, thank you so much. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.